Hey there, folks, and welcome in. Sorry, sorry, sorry that I'm late. I had to do a lot of reconfigurations, especially with the chroma key and whatnot. It wasn't happy, a little bit happy with everything, but I'm glad that you're here. Thank you so much, and we're going to get things rolling over here for Monster Hunter momentarily. And that is a remapping tool that I'll definitely get rid of. Just give me one second to get rid of that. Hope everybody's having a fantastic day weekend fantastic day some new things that will be coming up and i'll explain those later on but we're going to get into this momentarily let's see what we got here what camera am i using i am currently using the logitech c925e but i might try to upgrade that to something else if you got a suggestion on a better camera to use i am all ears definitely uh, that was and one of the reasons i actually had to get it because before the uh, computer i had only supported usb 2.0 but now that i have a gaming pc and it supports usb 3.0 I might actually consider getting a camera in that regard. So go ahead and give me a make and model of a camera that you would recommend that I use in that regard. Good afternoon, S Visions. Thank you for joining in. Beat Basher Music, thank you so much for joining in. And we're just going to get this to load up right quick. I had some other things I had to take care of also. So I appreciate your patience and everything in that regard. Let's see what we got. GoPro Hero 5 Black with a cheap... Chinese capture to go 1080 60 on a budget. I see, I see, I see. Well, that is very, very interesting. Alrighty, so we've got that going. And let me see, I've got to get this into the actual set over here. Okay, hang on. Controller's not working just quite yet. Let me get that going. Can you, do all, can you do all the work while I and the other NPC supervise the quest from last time? Hmm, interesting. Or use for item after COVID. <laughs> I see. <laughs> more Monster Hunter. Yes, more Monster Hunter. Yeah, so some of you may not know why I'm looking up. I actually got a new um, I actually got a new monitor recently. So I actually have a fourth monitor now in my rig. So the one I'm actually looking with my eyes right now, that's the one I'm going to be using to play the game. And then, of course, I can just look up right quick and I'll be able to see all your messages and everything else and whatnot. And if it sounds like I'm talking like 100 miles an hour, I'm just trying to get everything out of the way. So we're just going to do a quick recap right quick on the last uh, playthrough in Monster Hunter. So in the last playthrough, of course, we met some of our new crew and of course told us our name and that gave us an option to be able to care to basically customize our, our particular avatar or our illustration to our satisfaction, to which I don't think I did it too bad of a job making the character look like one of the guys off of NCIS. <laughs> And of course, because I'm a total noob, get all the armor that I possibly can. I wonder if that's titanium. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't, maybe steel. Then of course, get our Palico, which of course I designed it after the one cat that I used to have, along with one of my particular handles I had back in the day. Still kind of have it to this day. So of course, a quick toast and everything to a new future of exploring new worlds, and even our handler, which I'll admit she's actually kind of cute. Must be the freckles. Yeah, I guess I guess I'm a sucker for freckles. <laughs> But that didn't last too long because we had a big mayhem show up that basically busted our cruise ship. Could you call that a cruise ship? Yeah, I guess you can. It's what they had at the time. And of course, we had to rummage our way through what looked like a volcanically active island, wishing that we had the powers of Spider-Man as we crawled our way up and dodging boulders and whatnot. Yeah, talk, talk about mayhem in itself. And then what looked like pterodactyls, but they're not pterodactyls, they named something else. And thankfully, they didn't really bother us too much as we continued to scrummage our way up. And then, of course, we slide right back down and off into the wilderness only to use something like Batman tech to clamp onto one of those flying creatures and get out of there. And also make sure that our handler survives as well, grabbing them by the tip of the hand and flying into the wilderness in the wild blue yonder only to see the massive construction which looks like some type of dragon or whatnot i'm not quite sure what that is but i heard it was talking about in the last episode and then of course getting a glimpse of the new world as they call it to which i say is that really a new world or is it a new island i'm not entirely sure but considering that the the land is inhabited by other creatures that almost look like dinosaurs it almost gives you a nostalgia of the movie back in the day the land before time to which I have yet to see Littlefoot. I don't think he's going to show up. He's probably completely extinct at this point. Probably was left in 1990s. Who knows? 
But of course, our flight didn't last very long because, of course, the creature was like, uh, you guys are too heavy, so I'm going to swing you into these trees like George of the Jungle. And but um, even so, we managed to land into safety and whatnot, even though with all that kind of mayhem, with nothing but just a few scratches and whatnot. But of course, making our way back to the main campsite, which is HQ, meeting up with our other good friends and comrades, glad to see that we are safe and sound, even though we made it by the skin of our teeth and whatnot. By the way, does this place have any toothbrushes? But either way, even our Palico has survived and is so happy to see us giving us one big hug and nuzzle. You just want to, you just want to nuzzle and pedal and you just give him some cat treats and whatnot. But I'm sure he would prefer a steak in that regard. Look, quick meeting with the commander in chief in, in charge of this entire operation. And then we move on to other factors, of course, after that meeting. But well, not before we meet all of the other comrades in that regard that are of the core structure of everything and signing our missions and whatnot. We have our own room that's shared with a few other rooms. We even have a room keeper who is not a human, but in fact is one of the palicos slash cats. I'm really digging the fact that they're using cats in this. I really do dig that. Got our own chest to house all of our equipment, which came equipped with a whole bunch of weapons and whatnot. And even the canteen, which they do a stellar show on cooking what I'm assuming to be quite nutritious and quite tasty. I mean, even my even my uh, tongue and my uh, glands are salivating over that. Yes, indeed. And of course, look at that. I don't I don't know how this guy managed to eat all of that because I probably would stop right at the fish. But hey, you gotta you gotta eat to be able to get on this quest and whatnot. And then of course, as we go on our first quest, we managed to defeat many what they call Jagras, and then this here is a great Jagras, to which you managed to defeat in a fairly decent amount of time, so I was actually really happy about that. And then, of course, after the defeat, you can actually salvage things from these actual dead creatures that can be used either by the canteen, can be used by the armory, can be used by the uh, smithies and everything. And, of course, we're going to have another mission here in a moment that is involved to one of the discoveries that was met in the last mission, to which we're probably going to discover that next and probably a few other things. So that's a quick recap for those who are just tuning in and to get thing, get you up to speed in that regard. Curly with audio, thank you so much for joining in. So we're going to get started here. We're going to continue on where we last left off. Okay, let's head on over to... I did, I did play this a little bit with some of my other buddies. So that was actually kind of fun. That's the commander in chief and everything. And then, of course, the bigger thing is, to, of course, always use the lift to get just about anywhere where you want to go. Yeah, having this fourth monitor is actually really nice. Great work, partner. Thank you. You know, I have no clue what I'm doing. <laughs> Bird brain bandit. Completed, completed, completed. Yeah, I think I did quite a bit with my with my buddies, but you know, let's see what we got for optionals. Learning the clutch. Learn the mechanics of the clutch claw. Y'all man sat the New World Henderson. Let's see. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Learning the clutch. And before we go we go too far, why don't we get a full meal now? I'm kidding. <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. Speak to the commander. To which he is down below. I th I think I I think I might actually own I Iceboard. It said it in the title. We're clearing out the camp. I knew you could do it. And now we're finally ready. 
All right, Hunter, the Puke Puke hunt is on. Once you've hunted the target, the scholars will be able to get a closer look at the evidence you found. Can I stress enough how vital taking out the Puke Puke is for this mission? This could be the break between... This could be the break we've been waiting We're for. We're the ones to get it done! Oh, so you're the Grangers, the huh? has an urgent mission. Partner, you'd better come see me. Speak to that. Oh, okay. Okay. There's so much you can do in here. <laughs> Clutch Claw is an Iceborne exclusive piece of gear. Interesting. So much to learn. Hey there, partner. Found to do a little Puka Puka hunting. Yeah, okay. Once we've done that, Scholar can go in and check out that slag. See if it came from the Sora Magdoros. <laughs> but seriously, <laughs> what other monster could have had it? Could it have come from? Interesting. I mean, no scholar, but a smoldering lava rock. Hello. <laughs> okay, we'll put that on hold. Poke Poke Hunt. There it is. From the Southwest Camp, Northwest Camp. Um, let's see. Ancient Forest Camp. Interesting. Accept the quest. And hey, why don't we go to the canteen right now? So this is probably going to be a big mission and whatnot. So why not? Got a few vouchers. Vouchers. Yeah, one voucher. Who cares? <laughs> Hunter's powder, healthy platter. Hunter's power. Hunter's platter looks good. Gotta make sure that placement is accurate to the inch. to the wilderness of who knows what. Hunting monsters on your own can get tough. If you need a little help, send out a call to other hunters around the world. They can then join your quest and lend a hand. Up the menu screen, head to the quest menu, and select Fire SOS Flare. Your flare will then show up on other players' quest boards. SOS flares will reach players in other online sessions too. During expeditions, firing an SOS flare is the only way to play multiplayer. I see. When someone responds to your SOS flare, they'll automatically join your quest in progress. If you set the game to manually accept jo join requests, you will receive a system message asking for permission to join the quest. To accept a request, select Join Request to see a list of requests and pick one that you want. There is no penalty for rejecting a Join Request. Oh yeah! The Poke Poke prefers a plant-based diet. We're more likely to cross paths with them if we press further into the forest. Um... Yep, that's what I was hitting. That's what I was aiming for. So deeper into the forest.
Okay, let's see what we can find. I forgot to do something. It's raining, it's pouring, but there ain't no old man snoring. look like fun. Thunderbugs. An insect that emits electricity when struck. Required to craft shock traps and thunder ammo. Interesting. Honey. Yep, gotta get that honey. Red pit. If we ever need to hide. Okay, you look like fun. But I'm not interested. Down by the river. I don't think we're going to find it here. Mm -hmm. Let's try... Let's see. Yeah, I don't think we're going to find it here. What do we got here? I don't think we're going to find it here. Old feathers. Oh, wait. Yeah, we'll want that. That's a clue. We might be on the right track here. I think they've got a lock on something. Ah! 
There's the Poke Poke we spotted earlier. Watch out when his head is. Okay, may need to slow his messages down a little bit. Yep, there it is. Yeah, okay. Monsters are running away. Use the scout flies as a guide and they'll lead you right to them. Dodge! follow the trail, but I have to take a break anyway because my sword is getting a little dull. So we will follow the trail. That wasn't too bad, actually. Too bad, actually. All right, round two. Oh, chopped the tail off, did I? Jargus.
Oh, ring around the rosy. Ring around the rosy. <laughs> Keonix, thank you so much for the subscription. I think you already subscribed, so thank you for the resubscription. for the Puke Puke. Okay, now that we have our target, the guide flies can guide us to the way. They will show us the way. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was just a moment. Like, you know the way. <laughs> oh, hello. Like to play? Oh, they don't want to play. They are running away. I'm sorry. Was that was that a little? Uh... Hello, Great Jagras. I'll deal with you another time. Right now, I am on a particular mission. Okay, so I need to turn around and go the other way. The chunky boy. <laughs> ah, too funny. Oh, look at this. Looks like those two are going at it or we're going at it. We keep going this way and hit it like this. We should get it. Uh, but the flies are saying elsewhere. I might have missed it.
Huh, I haven't experienced that portion of the map yet, have I? I don't think I could. And he's not dead. Thank you. to our original mission. Okay, let's see what we can... Okay. Okay, round three.
nest to recuperate. Fight for me. Why are you picking a fight with me? Hey, y'all have fun with that, okay? Y'all have fun with that. Okay, buddy. Okay. Miss me. Okay. So now that that dude is not disturbing us, okay, that's where they are. up here. like it's still at its nest. Um, let's try zipping through. Oh, wait a minute. During combat. We're not fast travel during a combat. Oh. Well, that sucks. Wrong button. I not hit it on this mission. Ah. 
great. All right, they flew by. Y'all go, y'all go find somebody else to play with. I'm busy. Oh, that's cool. vines we can climb. Okay, not bad. I didn't expect to actually defeat it, so I was just like, whatever. what that is. I guess that's what it's been eating. Or some of it. No feints and a party size of one. How about that? Done well. Excellent work for putting that down that puke puke. I knew I put the task to the right hands. Uh, you know, off the skin of our blade. <laughs> Just to catch you up, we're hot on the trail of Azora Magdoros now. And listen up. But there's more to figure out. I need the fifth to our to protect our scholars while they investigate. I'm putting you in charge of the Wildspire Waste. The quest will begin once you've convened on site. 
Interesting. All right. It's time to begin the Elder Dragon investigation. Make sure you know what you need to do. So now we need to protect the scholars. Let's regroup at the Wildspire Waste. Login bonus. Ha 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 ha. Uh, let's go up to the, uh... Why don't we head up to the, uh, weaponsmiths and see what they've got to offer. If I can upgrade this thing, I actually like this. Currently at 324, that'll give it 360, that'll give something. But that'll give it an attack of 468. Huh. Can't do anything with that just yet, but it's a nice little trick. Can't upgrade to that yet for whatever reason. Need an earth crystal. So I need two earth crystals. I wonder where you find those. Weapons can be equipped with pendants to customize their appearance. Pendants can be created at the smithy by selecting forge equipment pendants. You can also obtain them in various other ways. To equip pendants on your weapon, open your item box and go to pendant settings. No better way to tell your weapon I love you than by sticking decorations on it. Pendants have no actual function in combat. New weapons and armor can be created by selecting forge equipment. Most weapons, however, can't be created via forge equipment. Instead, you'll have to make a base weapon first, then upgrade it into a more powerful weapon via upgrade equipment. All armor can be created via forge equipment. All helpful skills that remain active as long as you have the piece of equipment equipped. Each armor piece has its own skills. Be sure to keep an eye on the skills when forging and upgrading your gear. If multiple pieces of gear share a skill, the skills level will be the sum of each piece's skill. Equip sets of gear with the same skills to power up those skills' effects. Wow, a lot you can do in this game apparently.
I don't think there's much I can do here right now. An airship engineer, huh? So the fifth has arrived. Greetings. Airship engineer with the second fleet. Work on flying machines, airships, and what have you. I'm sure you're curious about why you haven't met a member of the third yet. That's because they've all been stranded for years. It wasn't long after the scholars from the third landed before they insisted upon crossing the Great Ravine. So they got their ship converted into an airship and off they went. It was going well until just after they crossed the ravine, a flying monster attacked their airship and grounded them. Sure, they were reckless to go, but seeing as I'm the man who put them in the air, I can't help but feel partly responsible for it all. Ever since then, I've been working on making a better airship, one that could use one that we could use to go rescue them. But between the new world's nasty weather and the strong winds hurtling down the ravine, it's been one failure after another. Still, you won't catch me calling it quits. Okay then. Accept the best kind of quest. Hey there, partner. Looks like we'll be doing a little escorting. You and I have been assigned to the Wildspire Waste. Our mission is to protect the scholars while they conduct their research. Heard they're already out there waiting. Talk about eager and stupid. We better hurry up and get out there to make sure they don't get into any trouble. Let's get some food before we go. Let's get some food before we go. I like me some fish. Let's see how this turns out. Let's see how this turns out. that you don't do anything that. stupid either. I'm so excited to go out and see this new piece of evidence. The slag was found in the desert area of the Wildspire. Guide us there safely, partner. I'll try. One thing's for sure. The environment here is completely different from the ancient forest. 
Yes. The Wild Spire Waste features a mixture of dry land and swamps, which naturally supports its own unique ecosystem. The water filters down through the sand and collects in the lower areas, thus creating a mire. Oh, great. We get to go uphill now. Come on now, my dear handler. Put your back in it. Here are quite resilient creatures. <laughs> they have adapted excellently to the dry climate. Even the plants have learned to survive. The fruit scattered throughout the area has a hard shell that helps retain moisture. For. Hmm. But we still have a ways to go. Well, on we go. <gasps> Actually, downhill might be worse. This is so heavy. was that did, did you hear that yeah everyone be careful mind checking it out for us there partner oh i definitely will I 
was aware that Zora Magdaros was an enormous beast, but I am in shock over how gargantuan it really is! Yes. It certainly seems to exceed the measurements in all the guild's writings. I wonder, how many years does it take for a beast like this to grow to such an enormous size? Oh look! Absaros! An herbivore native to this region! Wait! Why are they running? They look... scared. See? When Apseros feel threatened, they assume a defensive posture. Whatever's out there, it could be a danger to us, too. We have to be careful. Finally. I thought we'd never get here. Look at it. Glorious. It is absolutely massive. What a magnificent specimen! Almost there! Keep it up! The evidence is within sight! You've done a fine job, Hunter! Eh, I barely did anything, but I'll take it. Let's see what kind of present Zora Magdaros has left for us. Got here. Oh, look over there! Another oh, clue! Me first! Eureka! <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! Something oh. jiggies! It's a better off! <laughs> Use the SOS flare. Be be sure to. Yeah. Still in danger. You have to take down that bear off. Don't worry. I'll keep the scholars out of harm's way.
Yeah, okay. Coming out of his ears, his head. that can combine with the shield to form an axe. I forget exactly what. Of course, I gotta get out of that gun. Alright, let's take a second to resharpen our weapon. to get that gunk off of our armor.
I'm sure my character is going to want to take a really good bath or shower after this. Get me out of there.
Well, it looks like it's getting weak. Like it's getting weak. That wasn't too bad. you're back. Oh, don't worry. I found a safe place for the scholars to hide. I guess I'll go round them up. <laughs> Wait for us back at camp. You there. Are you part of the Fifth Fleet? Then that means the Elder Crossing is upon us again. The years fly by faster than I can count them. I too am a hunter of the First Fleet. Might I trouble you to share your tale with me? Let's find a suitable place. So, my old friends are well. Praise be. It sounds like the good scholars are as incorrigible as ever. Might I ask, are you tracking the monster that dropped that massive slag? <sighs> I as well. 
It seems so easy. Follow the trail, find the truth. Well, it has been a pleasure. Nearby you will find my camp. I trust it will be of some avail to you and the others. Please pass a message on to the commander that I am safe. But a force compels me on, and I intend to see where it takes me. If you too feel so compelled, then we will cross paths again at the end of all of this. Was that who I think it was? I don't know. Who were you thinking it was? <laughs> and thank you for the kudos, Keonix. Thank you very much. And thank you also, Lily. You know, it wasn't necessarily hard. It's just a bit time-consuming, I should say. Good to see you. Fine work out there. Thanks to you, our people are safe, and we know more about the target than ever. Since you left, we've been charting all the evidence we've collected across the continent. The scholars think they'll be able to pinpoint Zora Magdoros. That's a still a tongue twist for me. Location soon. Until then... Okay. Seems like the scholar has gotten separated from his escort. I need the fifth to go find him and guarantee his safety. The scholar was separated from his escort while collecting evidence in the Wildspire Waste. Yeah, apparently there's a reason why they call it Wildspire Waste. Zora Magn Magnanimous. <laughs> is that what you is? <laughs> Zora Magnanimous. <laughs> That's funny. Want to become... Oh, we got a bot. All right, let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that right quick. Head to the Wildspire Waste immediately. Okay, folks. I'm actually going to have to call it here because I think this mission is going to take longer than 30 minutes. So I think I'm going to have to give it, a, give it a break here. But I'm actually having a lot of fun with this game. So I actually plan to play it a lot more in the future. As a matter of fact, next Saturday. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to go ahead and get all of the stuff taken care of here for the Saturday in stream. Okay, so let me get some slides up for you. So moving forward, coming up on Wednesday, we've got another presentation of If My Heart Had Wings Flight Diary, the visual novel that'll be on my YouTube channel, which will premiere at 12.30 p.m. And I usually am available for the premiere. So if you want to come by and chat and watch me act like a total idiot, then <laughs> you are most welcome to join. And also there will be another premiere of Clannad on that visual novel, and that will be on Friday at a new time. It will be premiering at 12.30 p.m., Pacific time on my YouTube channel to which of course there is another game that I'm going to be covering and that it's called Haven it was released I believe yesterday or the day before that so I will actually be covering that starting this coming Friday and that will be at 1 p.m. Pacific time and uh, I just looked at the notes on it a friend of me brought it to my attention and I literally saw it and was like, yeah, this could be something very interesting. It's got this very nice just music to it, OST to it. And it's it's like I could just probably play that for hours if I really wanted to. So that'll be at Fridays at 1 p.m. Haven on the PC, to which they are uh, making uh, other console platform versions of it as well. But they haven't made one available yet for the PS4. It's said to be releasing for the PS4 sometime in the first quarter of 2021 and then of course if you want to catch me on the social networks twitter.com forward slash sound underscore otaku underscore 
And of course, if you want to join my Discord, invite link is in the channel description. If you're watching on the video description, excuse me, if you're watching on uh, YouTube and if you're watching here on Twitch, then there is a panel right below that has a direct link to my Discord server. And if you have a question for me off screen, you're welcome to send me one. You can just go to my, my Twitter and leave the hashtag Hey Sound Otaku. And there's also a channel in my Discord server called Hey Sound Otaku. If you'd like to support me, you are doing that right now, I'd say. And if you wanted to go a step further, you're welcome to do so. Heading over to streamlabs.com forward slash sound otaku if you want to leave a donation, to which I will give you a absolute sincere shout out if, if I ever see it. So thank you so much for that. If you want to send me a coffee, you're welcome to do that as well. If you'd like to subscribe to the Twitch channel, you're welcome to do that as well. Eventually, I will get some tiers and some other benefits in that regard. Uh, Stoli just still still slowly starting up on everything and getting used to the whole factor as an affiliate but all of your support is sincerely appreciated so once again thanks for watching i look forward to all the content coming this week i'll probably have some sneak peeks and whatnot if possible but hey just stay tuned and definitely check out my youtube channel i do some other things on there as well as like some uh, audio role plays and whatnot so highly recommend you check those out so until next time happy mixing everyone